Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip, we'll be going over a relatively new feature in GOM Inspect software called GDNT Quick Creation, which will allow you to very quickly and easily apply various GDNT elements such as flatness, parallelism, cylindricity, and much more in just a matter of a few clicks. So in previous versions of the GOM Inspect software, GDNT elements were able to be calculated by first creating the nominal and actual elements and relating them to one another, and then individually having to select the various inspection elements that you'd like to see, whether that was flatness or a position check. Any of those GDNT elements that you wanted to investigate, you would have had to create manually one by one after also manually creating the elements for the geometry. Starting in the 2018 version of the GOM Inspect software, the new GDNT Quick Creation button over here has been added, and you can see the number of different GDNT applications that we can use, as well as the ability to create things like datum systems, linear sizes, dimensions, and so forth. So let's take a quick look at how we can use the GDNT Quick Creation menu to apply all of these elements to our next inspection project. So I'm first going to import in the scanned mesh file as well as the relevant CAD file for the same part. Now that we have a nominal element as the CAD and then an actual element in the form of the mesh, we can create an alignment to put those two together. And then we'll begin with the GDNT Quick Creation process. So the GDNT Quick Creation menu allows us to bypass the typical workflow of creating each of those steps one by one, and just allows us to select the characteristic we're looking to inspect, and then it will automatically create all of the relevant and necessary elements for us. Let's say we first want to calculate just the flatness of this top plane here. So you can see as soon as I select flatness, I can show a preview of my selection. If I hold down the control button and hover over the different elements that I can create this plane on, I'm going to select this top face here. As soon as I select that, it's creating a nominal plane as well as a actual plane that corresponds to that. And I can very easily apply a tolerance for my flatness right over here. Let's leave it at 0.2. And immediately, just after a couple of clicks, I see that the flatness check has been applied for this plane. So I can go further on to inspect other flatness. Let's say this front face here. Once again, just control click. Let's apply a different tolerance, 0.4. And I'm able to see that as well. And let's create one over here. So very easily, I can create multiple instances of the flatness check on all these different elements as I see fit. Let's just rename these. I'm going to rename this to A, rename this to B, rename this to C, and we'll be using those as our datum system later on. So let's say we would also like to see the position of one of these cylinders here relative to a datum system that we'll create using the three planes here. So once again, I'm going to go over to my GDT for creation menu, select create datum system, and I can either use these buttons to create a filling element if I don't have planes that I want to select from already, or if I do have those planes, I can simply select them from the list here. So A, B, and C. So I'll create and close that. And now I will have my actual datum system here. And we can use this datum system to create a new GDNT inspection for position. So I'll go to the menu again, select the position option. I'll select the inside of this cylinder here. We'll use the ABC datum system that we just created. This will be a circular element. And I can apply a tolerance here. Let's leave it at 0 0.4. And very quickly, I'm able to apply a circular position check relative to the A, B, and C planes that we created earlier on to check the flatness. 
So that's how you can use the GDNT Quick Creation menu to very quickly apply any GDNT elements you'd like to use in your next inspection project. And that's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.